Welcome back to Alakine's Gun, where this time we're going to be killing some dudes in a top-secret research facility. First thing we want to do is find some less conspicuous clothes, because if any of the soldiers see us like this, we will get shot. We can walk right past normal citizens just fine, but the soldiers won't be very kind. Thankfully, there's a guy right up here in this alley that turns around to take a piss against the wall, and he has to piss like every couple minutes. Must be, uh, having some problems. There is a very narrow window where we can kill the guy from this spot and grab his body and move it. Because if his buddies across in the firehouse see us shooting him, then obviously we're in trouble. So we're gonna shoot him as soon as he turns his head away from us, grab his body immediately, and bring it back into this alley we're standing in. There are a lot of other guards you could kill and take their clothing as well. But not only is this guy more isolated than the rest, but he's also uh, right next to the firehouse. Makes it a lot easier to get inside quickly. Using the silenced pistol is simply easier for a lot of situations because, you know, you don't have to get right up against the guy to kill him. Now that we have a uniform, we can walk into the firehouse, but we still have to move quickly. Because the guards standing in front of the firehouse will still think it's weird. You'll see at the top, they were very suspicious of us just running through there, but they wouldn't shoot us because at least we're not wearing civilian clothing. And this restricted area, we can just run right through here. In spite of that guy telling us we shouldn't. But our uniform isn't going to cut it, in case you can't tell. These guys are just way too suspicious of us like this. Eventually, we're going to get caught. But thankfully, there's a guy with a fancier uniform here, one of the ones with an armband. And that armband is our ticket further into the facility. If I'm giving you heart attacks by uh, leaving doors open as I strangle these guys, you shouldn't worry so much because I've memorized where all of them patrol at. Now that we have a better uniform, no one on this floor of the building will be suspicious of us anymore, at least not too much. So we won't get shot or killed now, unless we do something really stupid. And there's a... Also, I love this room because, you know, you can tell it's a firehouse in here. Everything's very firehousey in this room. As I was saying, there's a special item we want if we want to kill one of these guys, one of our targets. And it's in uh, this hallway. It's in the door to our right over there, but of course there is someone patrolling this hallway. And they will notice if we start lockpicking it, so they sadly have to die. <laughs> Now I turned on instinct mode before aiming there, which allows me to lock on to various parts of someone's body. That's what I should have done in the last mission, when I was assassinating the spy. But don't worry, because we'll be doing that from now on. After we drop this guy's body in the armory, we're going to grab some bolt cutters, which are also right here in the armory. This is the special item we need to kill uh, one of our targets. Now, I'm sure it's definitely not the only way to kill him, but again, this is just the way I learned how to do it. This room has an elevator that we can't access until we have a higher ranking outfit. And luckily for us, there's a higher ranking officer down here at the end of the hallway. We do have to wait for him to re-enter his room, but, you know, it's not going to kill us to wait a couple minutes. When he comes back in, we're going to close the door behind him and simply shoot him in the head when he sits down. It's not a terribly elegant solution to the problem, but it is effective, and we'll get the clothes we need to get into the elevator, which you can see over there on the map to the right. I think we've walked straight through two restricted areas so far in this map, but that's going to be nothing compared to, uh, compared to the next one. The artificial intelligence simply doesn't care if you walk into some of the restricted areas, as long as your uniform is high enough that it doesn't raise their suspicion completely to attack level. And here comes the officer right now. We're just going to close the door behind him, and like I said, we're going to pop him in the head with the silenced pistol. 
If the door wasn't closed, then the guard would be able to notice, even though the pistol is silenced. You see, instinct mode really helps, so we shot that guy immediately before he could even notice what was happening. Now that we have our outfit, we're going to go down to the basement level of the facility, which is where the real fun starts. But now that we have this outfit, we can do pretty much anything in both floors of the facility as long as we're not hanging around our uh, assassination targets and acting real weird. A common complaint of this game was that it mostly revolved around finding new clothes to level up your rank, so that way people would be less and less suspicious. Not only is that perfectly fine, I think, but that's not even always the case. There are some levels where the lower ranked clothing, as it were, will get you less suspicion than higher ranked clothing. We are in the basement of the facility now, which is, uh, well, it's a maze, basically, but I've memorized it, so we shouldn't, we shouldn't get lost. And in this room, down in the center right there, surrounded by all these guards, that guy is our first target, and you might be thinking, this seems kind of physically impossible, how are you even going to get him? When everyone in this room is staring at you, and the answer is very quickly. There is a minor period of time where he turns around to look at the control panel, facing away from us, and if we act as soon as he turns his head, we should be able to take him out before anyone notices. But if we wait too long, then we're gonna get shot at. Simply gotta act as quickly as physically possible there. But it would also be ideal to leave his dead body alone. Because if we pick it up, then suddenly everybody will notice he's dead. For some reason right now, even though his dead body isn't hidden, nobody actually notices that he's gone. That would change if we picked it up. This game is kind of odd like that, but we have a second target still. And that second target is very heavily guarded. Even with this uniform, they won't let us inside. And if we try to get past them, they'll chase us and eventually mow us down with their guns. So we're going to take the back way in. As far as I know, this right here is the only valid use for the bolt cutters. It will let us bypass the guards entirely and enter our second target's room, and you won't even see us is the best part. Once we uh, climb up this hatch, we'll be safely across the room from him, hidden from sight, and we can snipe him using our silenced pistol while his back is turned. And after he's dead, we don't have to worry about killing anyone else. I am probably making the game seem a lot easier than it is. Because I doubt that you would be able to kill, uh, kill Mr. Adolf on your first try. This target, however, was significantly easier because you just have to worry about getting into the room and after you're in here, no one will bother you. We have to adjust the lighting on our camera to get good photos, but after that we're done. Completed the level, we just have to jog our way back out of the building. Amazing. How you survived an operation like that, I do not know. 
It was Rambaldi. If he hadn't showed up... You are too modest, Simeon. Comrade Strogoff, how would you describe Pearson? Unprofessional and reckless. Out of the corner of my eye, I could see him aiming his gun at me. Just to get a kick out of it, I'm sure. That's quite an accusation, Colonel. I know what I saw, Lieutenant. Some more tea? Thank you. It's not necessary. You called me to talk about Rambaldi and some operations two decades ago? What's so interesting about these past events? I'm not interested in past events, Samuel. Present. Do you know what became of Rambaldi after the war? We have not kept in touch, unfortunately. Your American colleague fared very well. He is now a high-ranking agent in the CIA. This morning, he contacted us directly and offered to participate in a joint secret operation. He also asked for you by name. For some reason, Samyun, he really trusts you. And do we need this operation? Uh, there are many in the government that don't believe so. In reality, it's because both of our countries have become hawks after what happened in Cuba. No one wants to show they actually prefer peace. What Rambaldi disclosed, though, involves an anti-government conspiracy. If it is ignored, it could lead to war. What are my orders? Ah, Semyon Ileksevich. You will meet with Rambaldi in New York. He'll take it from there. This will be completely covert. We need to be able to deny your involvement should anything go wrong. Even HQ cannot know. Of course. Do you remember Alexander Alekine? I was just a boy when he became world chess champion, but I remember. Chess. Appropriate, don't you agree? Agent Semyon Alekine. Indeed, General. You leave in the morning. Lieutenant Pavlova will accompany you. I don't need a babysitter. Good. I don't need you slowing me down. At ease. Have a good time in the park, you two. Thank you. I'm so sorry my husband is such a grouch. I'm sure the park will show right up, though. Do you think we will have time to walk around the city? I've always wanted to explore New York. Well, after the mission, we'll have time to visit Central Park at least one more time. So beautiful, don't you think? Do we always have to talk, Comrade Pavlova? I'm enjoying myself. You know, like we are not about to step into a high-risk operation, which we know absolutely nothing about. It's called fitting in, being a proper spy. You should try it sometime. A proper spy does not wear so much perfume. You make yourself obvious and put both of us at risk. And put both of us at risk. It is you who is obvious. No matter what, you walk, talk, and dress like a Soviet soldier. Even this coat could pass as a uniform jacket. But thank you for noticing my perfume. I... I don't have time for this. But perhaps after the mission, we can go see more of the city. You haven't aged at all, Semyon. Good to see you again. You too, Vincent. And you are, Miss? Comrade Lieutenant Pierre Pavlova. Hello. Well, welcome aboard. I won't waste your time. Let's get right to it. A lot of people in the War Department were unhappy with the peaceful settlement of the Cuban Missile Crisis. There were budget cuts, contract terminations, things like that in the aftermath. And not long after that, we got word of a plot involving officers from multiple agencies, including the CIA. These conspirators are aiming to bring the Cold War to a new level, set the world on fire, so to speak. Well, I got a team of people who can be trusted, but I need you on this, Samuel. 
You are the best operative I know. Besides, you're not CIA, so no one on the inside will have any leverage against you. So what information do you have? We have wiretaps on a few conspirators we have leads on. Well, their plan is to sabotage military installations and pass it off as a Soviet act. And the conspirators within the CIA won't risk doing a lot of the dirty work themselves. So they employ people from the outside. Like who? The Mafia. Strange choice, to be honest, but maybe it's just the tip of the iceberg. I don't know. Most likely. Tomorrow night, one of the conspirators will meet a man from the Mafia. His name is Paul Capello. We need documents that are in Capello's possession. Familiarize yourself with everything here. Eliminating these two will buy us some time. Consider the operation a go.